hanging out in Happy Haven. Yep, that's what I do. That's what I do. Hmm. I've been working a lot, and I've been hanging out a lot. Trying to work as much as possible, but they don't have a crazy amount of hours right now. Hopefully that will change. Yes, you saw the title of my thumbnail, A Rant. Hopefully I will be able to share with you my rant with a intertwining of gratitude. I'm human. I'm human, guys. I'm not uh, AI or a mask or a robot. I've got a lot on my mind. Several different topics, actually. And today I'm going to try to stick with just one, if, if I can even do that. I don't know. The squirrels and the bunnies get me. A guy pulling out in a beautiful motorcycle right now. <laughs> Anyways, yep, hanging out in this 2012 Toyota Highlander. Almost has 200,000 miles. And I have a few hours here before I start work. So I'm going to talk to you. A little bit of a rant little bit of gratitude. Hopefully more gratitude than rant. Hope you'll join me. And here, serene and simple life. And a serene and simple life it is. Sometimes people have commented, my life doesn't look serene and simple. Is there any life that's truly serene and simple if you have goals and you want to do things, you know? It takes effort. Takes time, effort, patience, all of it. Rant, a rant. What's my rant about? My rant is kind of about where I'm at with YouTube. That's the subject of the day. It is a warm day. It's, um, Nice breeze coming in here. I do have a mic on. Hopefully that will help counter the breeze. I don't know. I'm, I'm giving it my best shot. But last week, I decided to go down to one video a week. Now, those of you who have been with me from the beginning, I can't tell you how grateful I am. I know you have poured your heart into comments and giving me thumbs up. Hopefully you have shared my channel with other people. And the channel is growing. The channel is growing. Slowly but surely. <sighs> oh, been hanging around 39,000 some for a very long time. You know, and God always tells us we don't compare to other people. Just don't compare. That's just not good. It's not a healthy thing to do. Um, God blesses, blesses us. He blesses us in different ways. You know, there's that old saying out there. When you get to heaven and you're wondering, you know, why this, that, and the next thing, whether it be your health or children or family, relationships, money, all kinds of things that if we were to be choosing a door of somebody else's life, we'd want to go back and choose our door, the door that we're walking through. So how does that tie in with YouTube? Well, sometimes I can't help but see other channels growing like growing to that 60, 70, 80,000, 
they're pushing that hundred thousand mark when you get the nice plaque from YouTube and I'm like okay all right what are they doing and I was given some advice by a good friend a while back um, to start doing lives um, glorious life on wheels super lady she has been um, encouraging me to do that she gave me a lot of tips and hints um, two years ago at the RTR thank you Carol and I have yet to take her up on doing lives and you know I talked about it at my meetup and I had a couple people I think Cindy if you would you guys put in the comments who you were that would be moderators and I just I just haven't bit the bullet and I'm thinking part of my excuse is that I'm working right now and I don't want to add one more thing to my plate at the moment but when I get back to my tiny home cottage I'll have more chunks of time to really get into it I'll sit at my dining room table it'll be consistent I don't know I don't know I just haven't I just haven't bit the bullet on that one and she encouraged me she felt like that would um, would help and also um, Lava Lindy she encouraged me to do lives too thank you anyways so my rant today is about my channel growing and not growing and my gratitude and my thankfulness is that I have a channel and that I have all of you who have been regular followers so this is not about you guys okay this is not about anybody in particular this is just sharing with you things that are going on in my mind and um, the bottom line is letting you know that I am going to one video a week and it was a methodical decision and it also has to do with work and how much work these you know having a channel is and content lots of different things so but where was I oh the growing of the channel you know I thank God for what I have whether it be a dollar or ten dollars whether it be one viewer or 100,000 viewers I went into this with that in mind that if I was to touch one life and bring one life to Jesus and that one person would know about him and how we can be saved and how we can live life in heaven with him by admitting our sins knowing that he died on the cross for us and that he rose again three days later and he took the penalty for us I like the explanation like a murderer you know and a juror and a um, judge comes in and says so and so is taking this hit for you you're free that's what Jesus did And I'm not sure about this. This could be just rumor, but now that I've mentioned Jesus, what, five times in the last two sentences? I sometimes wonder if the algorithm picks up on some of my faith words. I don't know at all. I don't know. No one's told me. It's just an inkling. But then again, I do watch channels where they're speaking about faith and they're speaking about Jesus and their channels grow 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 so that could be really a mood point but uh, it'll be interesting <sighs> if the algorithm now has picked up how much you know I talk about faith and God and Jesus um, 
Yeah. State of this country, huh? That too. Probably not. That's probably not it. But it'll be interesting to see because I'm going to make the alg this this thumbnail like um, I have a serious rant. <laughs> you know, I, I do definitely see thumbnails that give you that. You know, people say that's just clickbait. No, not necessarily. It's just, uh, it, it, I do it too. You know, um, it, it makes it interesting. Like, oh, what's that all about? Like, don't do this. Or uh, 10 things you never, you, you never want to encounter. Um, uh, the death of RV life. Just anything that has some sensationalism to it. And sometimes, I'm not saying that I haven't done that, too. Sometimes I think my down-to-earth thumbnails are just telling you what the thumbnail is. People don't want to listen to this babbling brook. I get it. So it's not just YouTube. It's, it's me. It's content. Another thing is people say they have a hard time following me. Well, my channel is twofold. My channel is Gypsy Soul Nomad, and my channel is setting goals, making things happen, empowering you, living a minimalist life, and living in a tiny home. I had a recent comment where somebody says, I have the hardest time following you. You, you know, you were just in your, what happened to your tiny home? And I'm like, how do I answer that? Like, I'm in a tiny home. Do you mean the tiny home that I had two and a half years ago um, that was on a lease lot and now I bought property? Like, and also over and over my journey and uh, how long do you think you'll be in this tiny home? And those are reasonable questions, but sometimes I guess I just get a little bit of a, I guess I get fatigued. Um, like, how long will I be in it? Well, you don't have to know me for too long to know that I follow God's will for my life and that I embrace change. I love change. Um, I'm always thinking about something else. I love different parts of the country. I have blood, sweat, no tears, but blood, sweat, and a lot of equity in building this last tiny home. I think about staying put for, for the rest of my life, but the rest of my life, that just seems like too obscure, the rest of my life. Like, if I were to get married, uh, if my kids came around more and said, hey mom, you know, we'd like to have you live near us. Like, I don't know how that would work out because m my kids live in two way different areas. And that's another subject for another day. Um, I like to keep them out of my channel. I don't want to bring that kind of, you know, that, that into it because there's, there's, there's always two different stories and that's really, really tricky. So I, I, I like to get, keep that private. I am really, really, I don't know, I'm ranting and I'm, and I'm grateful. And the rant has to do with cutting back on videos because the channel is, is what's, what threw me off two weeks ago is my tiny house open house has, I think it's close to 20,000 uh, hits now. And then I did, now I'm starting the Bic series. On Sunday is the cost. Now that's going to be interesting. I kept the thumbnail real clean and tight and the description I think is pretty good. You know, the, um, the, or the title, you know, the algorithm picks up words in, in your title too. I always try to put tiny house in there, tiny home. Um, let me know in the comments, you know, what draws you in. I mean, if you give me some, give me some help here. <laughs> and YouTube has a YouTube, um, university and i've done i did a lot of studying on that i do know if i were to add music maybe and if i had a better camera and there were times when my videos 
could have done better, but the sound was was not good, or the interview was really, really good, but you couldn't hear the person. Uh, I've been criticized for uh, interrupting people, uh, whereas I also have gotten many compliments that I'm a really good interviewer. You know, so I get the gamut. And sometimes, you know, I, I have a fleeting thought of like, well, someday I'll just let go of YouTube altogether. I don't believe in a lot of what YouTube does as far as um, canceling people out who are speaking truths. But I also am very grateful to YouTube because it's been a good source of consistent income. Not consistent in month to month. I've had some really good months with YouTube, but then some that are just, you know, I mean, $100 is $100, right? $500 is $500. I mean, I'm grateful. And the, the biggest thing that I'm grateful for is the friendships and the people that I've met. Oh my gosh. The people, like, you guys know who you are. Um, and I don't want to miss, miss anybody, but Sandy and Kimberly and, uh, oh my gosh, Tammy and Johnette and oh, where else have I stayed on people's property and people who have offered me their their space and the beautiful the gifts the wonderful wonderful gifts with my last Tony home and I've gotten a gift now for this tiny home I'm not at home now so but I do have an address but So many blessings that aren't financial. I could just start to cry now. But I don't, I don't know. Right now, I'm working. I'm stationary. I'm going, I have a couple great videos that will come out in uh, later, like September. When I'm gone, people are like, more real time. This is real time. This is Thursday, okay? And then I'm going to start doing once a week Sundays. This Sunday is the cost of my tiny home, which I think is a really good video, but we'll see. Um, you know, I've had through the years, I've done over a thousand videos. That's a lot of videos. You know, I have an, a person that I see from time to time. She does a lot of bells and whistles. Uh, she does a lot of... Um, icons and, and, and flashy things and you know her, her channel's not like going crazy and then I see vid people who are just more drama and they're skyrocket so I've always wanted my videos and my this this content to be positivity encouragement empowerment like i'm wearing that shirt empowerment on the big series the build the inspections and the cost and then after that at my campsite i did a video on um, the differences between my last tiny home and this tiny home so that'll be coming up after the cost video when i get back and i i have my laptop here but when i when i get back to my tiny home maybe i'll put some more like those little flashy like subscribes at the top and um, show you a video that I'm referring back to like the inspections that I could throw that up on the screen <sighs> I haven't done that yet um, there's probably little things that I could do hopefully this mic is picking up now and that, and that's helpful in blocking out some of the wind um, travel videos don't do that great but then I go back to hey if, if one or two people really enjoy it. I mean, I need more than that because it is a lot of work. So I'm balancing work with, is it worth it? I guess you could say. And some of the private parts of my life that I don't want to share. Um, we all have hurts. We all have 
things that haven't gone quite the way we thought they would go. And I have those too. And don't want to talk about them, you know? Because it would be one-sided if I was talking about them. I just want to talk about what's going on in my life. Guys, I don't know if this made any sense at all. I am really, really a grateful person. I walk in gratitude. The next couple months, yeah, the videos will be about six to eight weeks out. I'm showing you... Um, some crazy stuff that happened in my work camping journey this summer. Crazy. And then I'm showing you where I'm at now, which will be, you know, down the road after I've left. Um, I'm hanging out in Happy Haven. I'm enjoying it. I'm making new friends. Um, I'm saving some more money for new projects when I get back to the tiny house. And um, doing two different jobs here as a work camper. More on that later. Um, I'm just going to prayerfully continue to ask God what he wants me to do with this channel. Where he wants me to go with it. Um, you know, some, some topics on my mind are... Things like seeing and not seeing my kids, um, staying put at the tiny home versus not, um, considerations and thoughts when I get back to the tiny home, you know, the quietness of that, although I will be back in church regularly, I'm thinking about doing craft shows, um, Ooh, that just about fell over. <laughs> and maybe that's the sign that this should end now. Um, just not sure. Uh, day in the life, tiny home stuff. You know, that gets boring. <laughs> but I do have, hopefully, you know, I, I can't say for sure, but really I would like a kickoff for my RV space to be mid-October would be ideal. Beginning of December at the latest. And you have to email me, and then I, I want to do FaceTime with people. Uh, like a, a five-minute, like, hey, you know, see that you're real, that kind of thing. Um, Linda at sayitdisplayit.com. So this was a sporadic, I was... As of last Sunday, I was just going to do Sundays, but I thought I would post this so you'll know what's coming. I'm doing Sundays at 11 a.m. That could change. For the longest time, I've been doing two a week, and it, it hasn't mattered. I did three a week. Uh, that didn't change things very much. And again, um, it's, it's the content. I brought a full notebook of positivity and lessons learned and, and life things. Um, but when I've done that in the past, like the porch talks, they didn't, they didn't go that well. That's, oh, I forgot to say, that's what threw me, is I got close to 20,000 hits on the tiny house, open house, and then the inspections and the build, they're like 2,500, and they give us a, a ranking, uh, the top 10 videos, like within the first half hour, hour, two hours, and, like, those are 10 out of 10. So it's like, I know for the people that heard it, you know, and you told me how worthwhile it was, I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I just thought that they would take off more. So, again, this all boils down, hear me, it all boils down to the amount of work and continuing that whether or not I should be doing, I should be taking myself off of social media and doing something else, or if I should continue with this channel. And that is a way down the road decision, as I prayerfully ask God to show me. Because up until now, he's always showed me this is what he wants me to do. 
and um, I don't know how that'll look moving forward. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And blessings in your day. Joy in your journey. <laughs>